on this next video I'm going to show how to acquire with a multi-well plate. So for start, using, when using multi-well or incubator, select incubator if you want to be sure to have the incubator on when you're going to add the oil. And to add the oil you'll need to take out the well plate. Then you need to select the type of well plate that you're going to use. 6 wells, 12 wells, 24 well or 96 well plate. I have inserted a 24 well plate. And you go to the multi position settings. And once you select the type of well plate, you will see the well plate on the user interface will change. So let's go to the 24. Before, just letting you know, if you're using a 96 well plate, the exterior part of the 96 well plate is locked. If you want to use the full 96 well plate, you need to unlock and confirm that you want to unlock. But in this case, I'm going to the 24 well plate. It is what I have. It is already calibrated. We have pre-calibrated the well plate. So Fusion the software knows where are the wells in this well plate. I'm with the 2x objective. I press live and I go to the 10x objective. So in order to visualize the multiple wells, I've focused on a bit of, of, of scratch, uh, dirt that it's on the well. And so I'll show you to go to well navigation, just double click and you move to the well you want to move. This is well navigation mode, where you cannot select the wells, but you navigate in between wells. And you can toggle between well navigation or well selection. So I will now add these wells for acquisition. And if I'm happy, I go back to navigation and then I can move around the wells, but I cannot unselect wells. If I would like to delete the wells, I go to well selection. If I now double click, well A1 was unselected. So you can toggle between well navigation and well selection. And on the table view, you, you, you can view the wells that you will using for acquisition in the order as it will acquisition will run. You can also decide, and this is when you combine it with a Z scan or time series at each well, uh, at each time point, if combining with a time series, visit all positions or at each time point run a time series. So the multi position or multi well plate can be combined with montage, with Z scan, with time series, you can apply focus stabilization. And once you're happy, well, you need to know the channels. In this case, as I don't have any sample, I just have uh, transmitted light and you can see just a, a bit of dirt. You select and I would acquire one position at each well. And it will run and acquire all seven positions in this 24 well plate. If you have live samples, chances are your focusing plane is different in different wells and you might want to adjust that. So you can go to the table view, go to the well you want to go or go well by well and readjust the focus. So let's bring it out of focus a bit and then replace position. You go to next well. And you replace position. Notice that we are replacing the X, Y and Z position. I'm just going to the next well again. You can also replace not only the Z position, but 
the x y z so you see the value I have replaced the position so this would allow you to focus uh, different samples in different positions you ca could combine and perform a montage with tiles at each at its well do a 2 by 2 a 3 by 3 uh, position and you can combine it with z-scan please see how to combine z-scans with multi positions and you can also perform a time series please note that if you need to adjust all the positions and they are all adjusted by the same xy or xyz offset you can do it by applying the xy or xyz offset in the table and so this is a quick overview of how to perform a multi-well acquisition using BC43. Thank you very much for listening.